Okay, I'm using this as a uh, example. This is Project Unit 6K. The goal is to develop a better understanding of quadratic equations, to see that every equation has a picture, a graph, to see that every graph is an equation and the answers are x-intercepts. Um, you can follow the directions here. Write all the problems in both graphical forms. So really what that means is I want to see six things. Six things go as follows when it's all done. It doesn't matter the order. I want to see standard form. Standard form. SF for short. Standard form is Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. Or equals zero if we're solving. I want to see it in vertex form. Vertex form. VF for short. This is, if we're graphing, Y equals A, X minus H squared plus K. And if we're solving, equal to zero. And talking about solving, I want to see it solved three different ways. So the three ways are solved by factoring. And I'll just abbreviate that with an F when I go to do the work. I want to see it solved by completing the square. CTS for short. Uh, completing the square, special note with that. That is really when you just take vertex form and set it equal to zero. And I want to see you solve it by the quadratic formula. Special notes. You have to do all three. But your answers should be the same no matter what. And I will abbreviate this one as QF when I go to grade it. But no matter how you work it out, the zeros, the roots, the x-intercepts will have the same answers. That doesn't mean you get to skip any of them. You have to do them all. And the sixth and final thing that you're going to do is you're going to graph it. And that'll be G for short. And graphing it, you should have the vertex, guaranteed, you should have at least two symmetrical points. Uh, one of them should be the y-intercept. And preferably, you should show the roots, the zeros, the x-intercepts on the paper. So here's our problems. You're going to be given a situation. First situation is the easiest. Second situation, it gets a little harder, so on and so forth. So number one. It's actually almost in standard form. So I'm just going to write y equals x squared minus 13x minus 14. There it is, standard form, finished. Now you can go anywhere or route you want to go with this. I'm just going to go ahead and solve it by factoring. What type of nomial is this? And when I'm solving it, it's equal to 0. And that is a trinomial. And trinomials... It's not a perfect square trinomial, it's just a trinomial. Negative 14 and a positive 1. Multiplies to be negative 14, adds to be negative 13. Set each factor equal to 0. Solve them. x equals positive 14. x equals negative 1. There is factoring. So two things down, I've got 4 to go. I'll do the quadratic formula next. It's completely your choice on how you go. But in the quadratic formula, I need to know what's A, what's B, what's C. Well, A is 1, B is negative 13, C is negative 14. When I do the quadratic formula, I should do the discriminant next, B squared minus 4AC, which really just means negative 13 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 14. So we put that in our calculator. And 
And we find out the discriminant's 225, which is a positive value, which means we're going to have two real answers. Okay, well, now we use the entire quadratic formula. X equals the opposite of B. That's 13. Plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, 225, over 2 times A, which is just 2. Square root of 225 is 15. So we have 13 plus or minus 15 divided by 2. 13 plus 15 is 28. Divided by 2 gives us the answer X is 14. And 13 minus 15 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. There's our answers. And once again, you should see that these answers are the same. That has to be the case. All right, so there's the quadratic formula. Now we're halfway done. I'm just erasing all of this so I can go further. And I'll go vertex form. Vertex form, A is 1, B is negative 13, C is negative 14. It's sort of understood that you know the directions up there on the board or you have the directions written down somewhere. And so H, of course, is the axis of symmetry, which is the opposite of B over 2 times A, which is 13 over 2 or 6.5. K is what you get when you plug in 6.5 into the problem. So since it's 1 for A, 6.5 squared minus 13 for B times 6.5 minus 14 for C, and we'll get K in one second. So 1 times 6.5 squared minus, oops, wrong button, minus 13 times 6.5 minus 14. And K is negative 56.25. So our vertex form is simply Y is equal to A x minus the h number squared plus k, or in this case, minus 56.25. There's vertex form. I should write smaller. Completing the square, set your vertex form equal to zero. This is the cheater's way. So one x minus 6.5 squared minus 56.25 is equal to 0. We add 56.25 to both sides. One times x minus 6.5 squared is equal to 56.25. We divide by 1 to both sides. x minus 6.5 squared is equal to 56.25. We take the square root of both sides. I got to get my two answers. X minus 6.5 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 56.25. 7.5. And so we add Add 6.5 to both sides. And to get to two answers, you add it to it and you subtract. So positive 7.5 plus 6.5 is 14. And negative 7.5 plus 6.5 is negative 1. There's completing the square. And last but not least, I'm going to graph it. Make it a table. I'm going to make five spots. One, two, three, four, five spots. I'm going to put my vertex in the middle. My H and my K. I'm going to put my answers in my... I want the X... I'm sorry, the Y intercept. That's where X is zero. It's six and a half places away. Well, six and a half the other way would make this 13. 
just double at six and a half. And if I put in my zeros, my roots, my x-intercepts, put in one. So the answers are roots or zeros or x-intercepts. Well, that's always true at the x-intercept. Y is zero. That's why I put it in. And whenever you put in zero, you get the C number, and the C number was negative 14. Or sorry, yeah, it was negative 14 because this was negative 56.25. And we graph those. Zero, negative 14. There we go, negative 14. Negative 1, 0. That looks reasonable enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, 0, 13, negative 14. There we go. That's negative 14. And 6 and a half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a half. And negative 56.25. And there it is. That is all six points or six parts for 12 points.